Hello Internet! So tonight I got my Power Supply's uh, first channel working. It's uh, set up as channel number two and you can see it here. So right now you can see on the multimeter on the left is the actual voltage being measured from from here. The multimeter on the right is the actual current which is currently not connected so this is the other lead of the current. The set point voltage and set point current can be adjusted as you can see here. As the voltage is changed the multimeter immediately updates and the light there can also be seen to get brighter and dimmer. This particular power supply can go between 0 and 12 and a half volts. So right now we're sitting at 0 and as you can see it goes it goes right to 0 on the um, on the multimeter as well. And goes all the way up to twelve and a half. It's current limited, which means that if the current exceeds the maximum set point, then it cuts the voltage so that it never does it so that it never goes higher. So right now I'm going to short out the power supply. The this multimeter is connected through to ground, and if I short out the voltage you can see the current. The set point current is seven or is 0.79 amps. The actual current measured on the multimeter is 0.8. The actual current being measured on the device on, on the power supply is 0.791 give or take. I still need to do some calibration to get it exact or at least closer. And you can see the voltage has dropped down to eh, next to nothing, 0.1-ish. As I release it, it goes back up again. Now there is some problem still. There is supposed to be a, a red light which comes on here when it's, in, when, when, it, when it's in overcurrent mode. It does come on, but you have to... it's only for the lower current, so I'm not exactly sure what is happening there. I need to look at the circuit again. But anyways, it's coming along nicely. Um, so far, so eventually this is going to have four adjustable channels. So channel one, two, three, four. It has two non-adjustable channels which are at plus and minus 15 volts which are here and here. Um, these three adjustable channels are going to be positive. This one is negative. Uses the same circuit board with just some different components set up. And you can turn on and off power with the, the physical switches. So you don't have, if you have everything set up, you don't want to uh, mess with it or whatever. You can just disconnect power, reconnect power. And yeah, that's it. Still have a lot of work to do, but it is coming along nicely. If you have any uh, questions or comments, just uh, say so in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.